Hello and welcome to the House of Valentina. Today we're going to be talking about rustic luxury. I cannot wait to share the principles of this style, how to use it. Then I'm going to give you a tour of my own space where I have infused this style into it all with budget-friendly items and budget-friendly hacks. I'm gonna share all of that with you today. Before we jump in, let me also say thank you to Squarespace, who is our video sponsor for today. I will have more to share about that with you in just a bit. We hope you'll hit subscribe. We hope you'll give the video a big thumbs up and let us know if you are excited about using one of 2022's biggest trends. I like to think of it more as a movement, but I'm gonna get into all of that in just a minute. Let's jump in. We have a sip of coffee and a bite of scone first. <laughs> <laughs> what is rustic luxury and why do I say that it's the next big thing after a farmhouse? Rustic luxury has always been around. It's not a new thing. It's the idea of taking a luxurious lifestyle and you're escaping out to the country and you're very focused on the idea of luxury in a rustic setting. Now, what I think is so fun about this is that rustic luxury does not have to only take place in the countryside. It can absolutely happen in the suburbs or in the city. It can be anywhere. You can take this style anywhere. These concepts work in any location, and that's what's so fun about this style, and I think that's why we just gravitate towards it. One of the reasons I think that so many people love this rustic luxury ethos, this idea, is because this style is pared back. This style is not about more is more. Now, everybody gives me a hard time when, about my coffee table when I talk about not having more. But for me, these I don't have a big bookshelf in this room, and I actually display my coffee table books on this table. So for me, this is my moment of maximalism. Nobody's visited my mom if they call me a maximalist. <laughs> Sorry, mom. But it's this idea of paring back your things. In this room, we have two sofas, we have two sets of chairs that face in, and we have a little cabinet. And you know, just not, there's a little cabinet against this wall. There isn't layer upon layer upon layer upon layer of furnishings. It really is pared back. Now, if you are the ultimate minimalist and you like to live with nothing, you can still use this rustic luxury style. All these principles can still work. And if you are a maximalist, I would say to you, yes, you can definitely use this style, but you may wanna think about just kind of dialing it back just a little bit because I think that one of the biggest parts of luxury is this idea of space. And when you have space to move around in your room, it gives the idea of luxury because you have extra space to spare. And that's why I think it's an important principle of the style. Oh, now we're getting to some fun. Let's talk about sophistication. I think this is the biggest reason why this style is a departure from farmhouse and also why so many people are gravitating towards it. Let's face it, we have access to architectural digest and, and some El Decor, Vogue Living. We have access to some of the most chic magazines, inspiration and books globally. More access than ever before. And I think that now we're starting to see things that maybe we wouldn't have seen before. And we're understanding that we can bring not only a sophistication to the items in the room, but also in the way that we use them and the way we display them. And we can create something that's very sophisticated. And I think that's where this differentiates quite a bit from farmhouse because modern farmhouse was all about everyday items. It's things that are taken from the barn. It's canning jars and all that kind of stuff. This is a little bit different. This is more sophisticated. It's also about using sophisticated materials like marble and putting them together in a way that has a little bit more of an elevated feel to them. This style can definitely be more traditional and or modern. If you are like me and you just love to be able to combine styles, this style is gonna be great for you. If you lean more towards traditional, 
this style is gonna work for you as well. And if you lean way to the modern style, it still works. That is what is so great, is that this is about an ethos. It's about a way of living. It's about a way of collecting. It's a way of approaching your home and the way that you put things together. And that's why it doesn't matter whether you like a more traditional sofa, if you like something that's more modern, this style is still going to work for you. This style is definitely all about luxury materials. And so even in this little space, you can see where I've got some beautiful velvets that are sitting on my cotton sofa. I've also got a faux cashmere that's here. You could definitely have cashmere as well if you have a little bit more money to play with. Uh, but this one's from Amazon. It keeps selling out, so I'll try to leave a link for that one and other options for when it comes back in stock. But we also use materials like marble. My tables right here are using a marble material and it's this sort of idea of taking an elevated material and then we take those elevated materials and we pair them with something that's very cozy, very approachable and very rustic or natural. Those are kind of that, that's where that rustic luxury, it's this combination of things. So then I've got a boucle that's here. I've got warm concrete that's here. I've got this sort of rustic material sitting right next to something that's very luxurious. And that's why I think it's this sort of, it's this pairing of things that seem to be in opposition and yet they work perfectly together. You'll also want to make sure to use a muted color palette in this style. Now that does not mean that you can't use black. I have still used this style in my own living room where I do have a lot of black. You'll notice though that in this space, I've also pared back those colors quite a bit. I don't have so much black in here. I really wanted to play up this sort of muted, watery, natural kind of color palette. And I'm not playing with high contrast so much. I think about like nature at sunset or nature at sunrise. It's sort of this sort of almost right before the sun rises where everything is kind of gray. Think about a cloudy day and how nature appears on those days. That's the color palette that really just, I think just really sums up this style. We kind of alluded to this before, we we're talking about high style on approachability, and I think that this is why this style just really speaks to so many of us. It's because we love to have something that feels really chic and really elegant. I mean, even to my outfit today, I've got on the coziest knit sweater you could ever, ever find in the world. It's so cozy and it's so approachable and I can get down on the floor with the dog and and I've got it paired with a, a nice pair of like acid wash black jeans and I'm super cozy, but I've got it mixed with a little bit of gold and I've sort of elevated it with my jewelry and it's a sort of blend of high style with approachability. The final thing is definitely the candles and the fire and this idea of lighting your space and adding a lot of warmth. You can also do that through blankets. I just love that about this style. It's really about infusing that warmth. So for those of you that are terrified about this idea of leaving farmhouse, do not fear because you're still gonna be just as cozy and just as you're gonna still have that homey feeling in your space because you're going to be adding a lot of warmth back in that makes the space feel so approachable and, and cozy and it's practical. The dog sits on these sofas. We, we hang out here over the weekends with the kids. We, we have snacks on the table. I, I mean, we really genuinely use this space, it's, it's for our family. And I think that's why this style is just really taking off and why so many of us are gonna absolutely love using it. So now I'm gonna take you around my space. I'm gonna give you a little bit of a tour and I'm gonna show you some of the specific items that I've used in my own space. But I'm also going to share with you some of the styling hacks that I've used that you can also grab out of this space. Before we jump too far in, let me take just a moment and thank our video sponsor for today, which is Squarespace. We absolutely love Squarespace. We have been using Squarespace for years. Squarespace is an all-in-one package where you can create your online presence, whether you're gonna use it for 
for personal or business, however you wanna use it, it is the perfect way to be able to get yourself online and it has all the tools that you need to be able to have a blog, get your messaging out to your family and friends. Maybe you wanna update about your, your kids or your dog. You can also use it as a business where you can have a shop and there's all kinds of online marketing tools. There's communities that you can join. It's an incredible, incredible platform that we've been using for years and we absolutely love it. It makes being online so easy. So go to squarespace.com for a free trial and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com backslash House of Valentina to save 10 percent off your first purchase of a website or domain. Last weekend, we did an Amazon Live event. So if you're interested, you can actually go back. I'm not gonna be able to go through every single item in detail the way I did on that live event. So if you want to see more of the books and what's inside of them, go check it out on Amazon Live because I've got everything linked there and I'm opening all the books there. So go check out that link. I'll leave a link to the Amazon Live and to the storefront where I've got it curated for you. That way you've got two options for how to be able to get the actual items. I showed you a tour and kind of took you around all the different spaces, but today I wanted to share more of the styling hacks and really give you a full tour of the whole room. So um, yeah, so anyways, I'll have all that down in the show notes for you. Now let's chat about the coffee table. How exactly am I using rustic luxury on this coffee table? Well, first of all, the whole space in general is grounded by a gorgeous rug. And this rug is definitely a little bit more traditional. It's got a tribal pattern in it, but it's very luxurious. It has a very luxe feel to it. And I think that when you ground the space with something that is very luxurious like this, it immediately gives off a luxe vibe. You could definitely use something that's more rustic as your rug. In one of our recent videos, I even went to Target and picked out some of my top favorites from their rugs, and some of those were more rustic. So you can definitely do a more rustic rug in this style but I like having something that's a little bit more luxe and then I've paired something with this marble top on the top of that and so I'm piling luxury on you can see that I definitely lean more towards the luxe modern side of this style but this is an easy thing that you could do. You could also have a marble top, more traditional, maybe a rustic base wood kind of table that would work as well. I have so many books in this space. I absolutely love it. I sat here with my cup of coffee over the weekend and just really, I lit the fire, which I should probably do now. <laughs> it's starting to get chilly in here. I think going through all the books that you already have and own is such a great way to use this sort of rustic luxury style. But if you're wanting more inspiration, there's so many beautiful books out that really will inspire this style. I've got but this one is Scandi Rustic, which of course is a little bit more modern, which is why I personally love it. One of my other favorites is this Jenny Kane uh, Pacific Natural at Home. It really is so chic. It's so approachable. It's so beautiful. And she really combines, like you can see in here, you can see in here where she is combining something really, really modern with something really, really rustic. And then she's got something that's really approachable and the sort of feeling that you could just sink down into this space. I mean, look at her the little doggy in there. This is a home. And I think that's what I love so much about this style. You could pile up your coffee table with several of these books. You could also look at books that you already own. Maybe take off the jackets and see what's inside. I mean, that is gorgeous. And a lot of times you've got books sitting around that you could just use on your coffee table. Here you can see where I've also brought in some more marble through these really cool bookends. I love these bookends. I've also got concrete. Look at these, oh, these concrete little boxes. Look at these beautiful vases. This is another great example. This one is really glossy, but it's got this incredible texture inside of it. And then this one is really matte and chalky and they're both ceramic, but they work really well together because they have this sort of warmth, this sort of neutral, just natural palette. And then I've just clipped from my bushes. If you watch that live event, you'll see that there was the exact same branches and they just last. So that's why I really love to be able to just clip from the garden. I've also got some incredible iron here and I realized I'm missing one of my key elements, which is to light these babies up. So let me go, let me light these. So I think having the light, I really just did that, yes. I just threw them all over the place. 
<laughs> I love these little lighters because they really add a lot of texture to your space and it's practical because you can actually light your candles while you're here. Um, I'm gonna pick these up real quick and light the fire and I'll be right back. While I'm over here lighting the fire, let me share some of my favorite, favorite things that I have brought into this space to create a rustic luxury look. One of the top things that I've brought in are these incredible chairs. These are actually dining chairs and I think it's completely okay to use dining chairs in your living room. I have to admit that I am thinking about maybe putting these in my office because I love them so much that I literally wanna sit in them every single day. But I just love that you can have an extra chair like this that you can move maybe from an office into the living room when you have more guests. I love the thing, I love the fact that these have a very sophisticated sort of Parisian kind of feel to them. You will see these used so often in Parisian apartments and I love them. They're so chic, but they also come in such a beautiful natural material. These are actually handmade. That caning takes a lot of work and they're just a work of art and they're just absolutely beautiful. I, I love them. But then I've got them paired against this fireplace that is not really so rustic, right? This is a little bit more modern. It's a little bit more elevated, but I've filled it with items that are very rustic. So up here, I've got this incredible incredible rustic base that is one of the things that I literally sell to almost every client because I think it's the perfect vessel. It's got a crackle kind of finish in it and it's really rustic and warm and it looks amazing against something that's really smooth. And I just love filling with branches out of the garden. Sometimes I'll put something really big in it. Sometimes I'll put something that's a little bit more petite like this. And then other times I'll leave it empty and then maybe I would fill this vase instead, which has this incredible incredible artisanal kind of feel to it. So you can see how we're combining things that seem like they wouldn't go together and they just work. I'm using a lot of rustic elements because my fireplace is so modern because I've painted it black. Midnight Oil by Benjamin Moore, if you're wondering. And now I've got something that's like this linen of this book sitting here and it just, if I'm playing with these sort of contrasts. I've got warm marble, I love these. these are so beautiful and every single one of them is unique because they're made from marble. And so it's really fun. You can see here where I've got the same, the bookend for the other side from the other one and I'm using it as a piece of art. I'm wanting to create a very sophisticated, elegant kind of feel and I'm using some of these objects to create sophistication, but I'm also keeping it a little bit informal. I mean. Who decorates their fireplace like this, right? Like it's informal. I'm using it like a shelf. And I think that that's that sort of coziness. And then I've got something practical sitting here. I've got the, the tray, this iron tray that's loaded down with my medieval torture devices. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's the, the little candle snuffer and the little, um, the little tr wick trimmer and it's practical. Then down below, I've got these incredible baskets and they're very, very rustic. And again, I'm just playing that sort of rusticness against my very, uh, it's a very clean lined fireplace. And then I loaded this baby up with some soft chenille and some velvet pillows, but I just love these baskets. This one is a rope basket that is handmade in Bangladesh and it is an exquisite piece of art. And I love these baskets, but there are also they're also working for me. They're doing a job. They're, they're creating a sort of elegance and sophistication and yet this sort of like everyday practicality that I think a lot of times we still crave in this style. I've just brought in a couple pieces that are just a little bit more rustic. They've got a patina on them and these little pieces have a lot of warmth in them and so I'm trying to bring that sort of warmth into my space. I've also got the patina on some of the photography that's here. I've also got this incredible rope bench that has so much detail in it and it's gorgeous and it's tactile and it's practical because I had so much modernness. I had so much chic and sophistication happening up here and I'm just balancing it with something that's just so warm and, and so easy to touch and easy to live with. On this side, I've got this Sherpa pillow. Oh my goodness, talk about an everyday material, but I have paired it with another one of those velvet cushions. I love this color, don't you? It's gorgeous, it's so beautiful. I've also played with different sizes of cushions here. 
And I've got this, oh, this one that is about as burlappy as it gets. So to be perfectly honest, this is probably not one that I'm gonna like sit on. <laughs> it's just really rough, but it really adds a texture that I really, really want in this space. And that's why it's staying. Louie comes and sits. <laughs> Thanks buddy, I didn't even plan that. <laughs> You can see Louie in his little sweater and how we can sit back and be cozy. And even behind us, we've got this little blankie, which Louie loves to sit on and cuddle with. And it's just this beautiful little knitted throw that I found at Target. So this is how we sit and enjoy the space. Well, before I sit and eat more of my scone and my coffee and sit with this little, this little boy, let me show you one more area that I've got. Shall we show her one? Shall we show them one more area? Shall we show them one more area? No, we should just stay and sit. Should we just stay and sit? Okay, so now over in this section, you're going to see some familiar items. If you've hung out at our channel for a while, I've left my modern artwork up here. Now it does have brush strokes and it has some texture in it, which is why I feel like it still works in this style. I've also brought in just a little vase that I found at Target. I love this one. My little branches are about done. It's been probably about two weeks since I cut them off the bush. But the vase itself has incredible texture. I don't know that I've loved anything this much in so long. I adore these. Now I'm using them as sculpture. They're really meant to be a pitcher that you would use for maybe milk or something, but I just love the sculptural feeling that they bring. And I think that sort of balances that sort of rusticness with something that's really sophisticated and, and just feels very chic and contemporary at the same time. I've got the grapefruit basil candle going here, which not only adds warmth, but also makes the entire space smell good. Look at the texture on that container. And then down below, oh my gosh, you guys, I just got this in. This is still, guys, look at the cover. Is that not just so chic? It is so chic. It is so sophisticated, but it is so warm and so approachable. And this is definitely leaning more towards the modern side. I haven't even had a chance to look through everything. This is in East Hamptons. Look, this is such a great example. This sort of luxury high style, it's been around for a while. This is not really a new trend. It's the idea of that sort of sophisticated life in a rustic setting. And I think, you guys let me know. Do you feel like that's something that we have adequately put into our home? Have we taken those elements and brought them into our home? And does it feel like it goes? I think it does. I just love it. Back here, I've got this paper mache. You talk about textures. Look at that paper mache vase. Oh, it's just incredible. And because it's still January, I've left the cypress for now. But that's what I think is so fun about this style is that you can take your marble, you can take these sort of rustic little things with texture in them and you can put them all together. Um, let me show you these chairs. Actually, let me sit down for a minute because Louie's like, let's cuddle. And I'm like, oh my gosh, <laughs> dog, you're gonna make it so I cannot finish this video. I'm like, let's go cuddle, <laughs> sit down. <laughs> Louie's like, oh, she's got the blankie. That's right, come on, sweet boy. That's a good boy, that's such a good boy. Okay, lay down, lay down, lay down, put your booty down. <laughs> There we go. So I've also got these caned chairs in here. And again, it's just playing with that sort of texture. It's also bringing in, oh, am I boring you? <laughs> it also brings in this color. And I think that that's what I'm always trying to do is think through some of these easy elements. If you love rustic luxury, this is a style that you can very easily bring into your home. <laughs> without having to spend a lot of money. You can find some really great items that are places like Amazon and Target. Go to Etsy, look around your house for what you already have and bring it into your space to create something that feels like you are pampering yourself every single day. And I think that's what is so great about this style is that you can use it whether you're in the city, whether you're in the suburbs or out in some incredibly remote location. It's a, it's a style that just works everywhere. And I think what I love about it is the approachability and the warmth and the feeling of home that it brings. And I know that even if I was living in a city, this is definitely something I would be using. So I hope you've enjoyed it. 
Don't forget that if you want to see more of the links, I'll leave all the links down below, but you can also shop the Amazon storefront that I have several boards over there, a French one, I've got the Rustic Luxury, I've got a bunch. And, um, and don't forget to hit subscribe because we're about to hit 250,000 subscribers. That's incredible. I'm, like, I'm gonna get all teary <laughs> just thinking about it. I can't believe it. That's a quarter of a million of you. That's amazing. So thank you so much for those of you who have subscribed and don't forget to share it with your family and friends and let's get us up to 250,000. And um, yes, we're gonna enjoy the rest of our afternoon. I hope you do too. I'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs> bye. Can you say bye guys? Bye guys. Shall we get our scone? Should we get our skull? Maybe I should get you a cookie? Do you want a cookie? <laughs>I'd show you my high heels, but all attempts to do that were just not ladylike. So I do have a high heel on. Wow, it's